Hi, I'm Louise Adams. I've been a clinical psychologist for more than 20 years and I work with people with eating disorders, body image dissatisfaction and what I like to call diet culture fatigue. We all live in diet culture where there is a clear body hierarchy with uh, thin bodies at the top and larger bodies down the bottom. Diet culture messaging permeates our existence from the moment we are born. We are being told that fat is always bad and unhealthy and thin is always good and healthy and this is everywhere. This happens in multiple conversations with our friends, family and colleagues. This is all over the news and the media and in our social media. This happens in the GP office and it's all over public health messaging. The weight loss industry is enormous and still growing. We never question these diet culture body hierarchy messages and we should be. Diet culture has not produced a society filled with thin, happy people. Instead, it's wreaking havoc with our physical and mental health. We have developed an almost global obsession with weight loss. We have skyrocketing levels of people with body dissatisfaction and exploding numbers of eating disorders. And we're not getting thinner. Strong research evidence shows us that weight loss dieting only produces temporary change. Weight loss dieting drives metabolic consequences which increase weight gain, not loss, over time. Our body weight is much less under our conscious control than we've been led to believe. And when we tie our health and our happiness to our weight, we're signing up to heartache and we become much more vulnerable to the diet culture messaging and the always hungry for our dollar weight loss industry. Far from helping larger bodied people live healthy and happy lives, diet culture's body hierarchy has created widespread weight-based discrimination and fat phobia. In healthcare, larger bodied people are being treated with disbelief, disdain and condescension and are often required to prove that they can lose weight before getting access to basic health care, such as surgeries. If we really cared about the health of our larger bodied population, we would stop excluding them from health care services. Fat phobia is increasing, not decreasing, alongside constant messaging about the obesity epidemic. Diet culture is bad for people of all sizes, but it's particularly hurtful to the over 12 million Australians with a BMI above 30, for whom they are told the only choice is to continue to try to lose weight. We desperately need something different. Thankfully, we do have another option. Health at Every Size, or Hayes, is a social justice movement and an approach to healthcare that completely rejects the body hierarchy. Instead of trying to shrink everyone's BMI, Hayes approaches take care of people across the weight spectrum in the bodies that they have right now. Hayes calls for an end to weight-based discrimination and fat phobia in all of its forms. It also helps people find sustainable individual practices to support health. This might be things like intuitive eating and moving for joy rather than weight reduction. I am so proud to be a Hayes practitioner and the president of Hayes Australia, a not-for-profit member organisation of medical doctors, health and fitness professionals, researchers and academics, all working under the Hayes paradigm. We have close to 100 verified Hayes providers in Australia and our general membership also has hundreds of members. We are growing really quickly and it's wonderfully exciting to know that there is so much interest in this affirming and inclusive approach to healthcare. It's Body Image and Eating Disorders Awareness Week. In order to meaningfully improve our body image and reduce the rates of eating disorders, we must dismantle diet culture's body hierarchy and eliminate fat phobia. This might sound daunting, but there's a lot you can do as an individual to stand up for your body and for all glorious diverse bodies. The first step is to simply notice how common fat phobia is and to take steps to reduce your exposure. Stop taking part in conversations about dieting and weight loss. Stop judging people on the basis of size. 
stop judge, stop um, following social media accounts which uphold the body hierarchy and follow body positive accounts instead. Respect body diversity and understand that people come in different sizes and that's just fine. Ditch the diet and call a truce with your own body. Listen to what your body needs, not what the diet rules are saying. And if you're struggling, find yourself a haze provider. And if you are a health professional and you're excited by what I'm talking about, join us at Haze Australia. We would absolutely love to have you. So this Body Image and Eating Disorders Awareness Week, let's really make a difference and push back against diet culture and celebrate body diversity.